All right, guys, in this video, I'm just going to tell you my thoughts on the 2022 YZ125 versus the 2021 YZ125 and maybe which bike you should go with if you're up in the air, what other guys are telling me, what the magazines are telling me, all that. So, first of all, yes, we did gain one horsepower, peak horsepower for the 2022 model, but what we lost, guys, and, and Full disclosure, I haven't got to ride this bike yet. Um, I just swapped out the springs on this thing. This is a this is a friend's bike, a rider rep's bike. I haven't got to ride it. I hope to ride it at some point. Yeah, so this is just what I've heard about this bike. We got one more peak horsepower, but you lost all the power down low, which everybody loved about this bike, which made it a beginner-friendly uh, motorcycle to ride. So this bike actually makes less horsepower than the old bike until you get to about 7,000 RPM. So, you know, 125s has to be ridden on the pipe anyway, but this one even more so. It, it does all its performance on the pipe, where the old bike um, was a lot easier to get on and off of, ride on the bottom, beginner to intermediate friendly. Um, I've heard it summed up as if you're beginner, you will definitely like the old bike's power, char power characteristics more. If you're an intermediate, you will be satisfied with this machine. And if you're an expert, uh, you'll love it. So something to take into account. Um, also take into account that uh, it's still 2.5 horsepower off the KTM 125SX. And the KTM 125SX has been around for a few years as well. There's an all new KTM 125SX coming out this summer. So it might uh, it might gap this thing a little further again. We will just have to see. Um, there's some cool stuff I like about this bike. I like how the seat mounts. I love the body styling, you know, way more than the old bike. But besides that, uh, guys, I don't think you're gonna be at any disadvantage riding the is it 06 to 2021 yz125 i think you're going to be just fine with that beast another thing to keep in mind guys 125 two strokes have always felt tall this one feels amazingly tall uh, i'm 511 and it feels tall with me sitting on it it's like they they made the seat flatter and you feel like you're sitting on top of the seat on top of the motorcycle instead of kind of sitting in it, let, you know, more so than the other bike at least. So it's definitely an interesting um, profile. And I think Yamaha claims that this new seat is six millimeters lower in the front, but five millimeters taller in the middle. As far as handling guys, you're gonna, I mean, it's the exact same shock as the old bike. It's 99% the same forks. Uh, it's the same swing arm. It's the same frame. Um, it, this bike's going to feel very similar in handling to an old bike. So just wanted you guys to be aware of this. Um, you know, if, if you're an expert, you're definitely going to get some benefit out of this bike because it's going to perform better than the old one at the very, you know, at the top of the power band, mid to high. Uh, if you're more of a beginner guy and, and you have a deal out there on a 21 or older uh, don't be afraid to jump on that thing because it's probably going to suit you way better than this 2022 will anyway. So that's just some information I wanted to get out there, guys. I had some people comment and ask me what I thought about this bike. So I made a series of videos. Uh, I'll link them all down below. You guys can check them out on my kind of first impressions. And um, when I'm able to ride one, I'll make another video on riding it and... Uh, That'll be my after ride impressions. So, but for now, this is all I've got. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you appreciate these kind of videos, if you could go down to the bottom and, and hit the subscribe, I really would like to earn your subscribe. Um, and I'd really like to earn you hitting that blue join button and joining my race team, too. So, thanks. I'll see you in the next video.